These houses are neither made of cards nor bricks. They are made of bamboo, which is abundantly grown in many parts of the country. Bamboo technology is being widely used in China and Latin American countries. But in the small town of Palvancha in Kamam district of Andhra Pradesh, Dr. P. Sudhakar and his team have been testing the bamboo to use it as an alternative to both timber and steel in house construction since 1988. In traditional house building with uh, wood, huge trees of 40-50 uh, year old uh, have to be cut down to get that uh, columns and that beams. Now that huge wooden beams and columns are replaced by very slender uh, boughs with made of bamboo. Bamboo is a renewable resource. We can grow to the useful sizes in just 3 to 6 years time. Uh, secondly, it does not consume any energy, particularly the fossil fuel energy unlike cement or steel, uh, which would be a source of consuming fossil fuel energy is a source of uh, pollution today. So, that technology becomes sustainable, whereas steel and cement technology definitely is not sustainable when you talk of a couple of hundreds of years. Dr. Sudhakar was the research faculty at the IIT Delhi and was working on integrated circuits and silicon chip technology. But he quit his job in order to start the Haritha Ecological Institute at Palvancha. A most important aspect of this school is to encourage experiments on eco-friendly alternative technologies that would benefit rural communities. While most of these experiments are in nascent stage, extensive work has been done on the bamboo technology. Bamboos can be bent into bows, arches. And arches are known to be excellent uh, structural membranes. Uh, arches of stone are very well known for millennia. But to the best of our knowledge, bamboo bows as arches have never been used as uh, load bearing elements. First time uh, we have developed this at Haritha. They are good particularly for uh, rural habitations and where we want to use for large uh, some kind of conference halls and uh, even for industrial structures in cities it can be used as a substitute uh, roofing material in comparison to uh, steel trusses. As a rule of thumb a ton of bamboo can replace a ton of steel structure. Now, a ton of steel is something like 18,000 rupees, but a ton of bamboo could be 2 to 3,000 rupees. So, you have a factor of 5 advantage in cost. So, that is that can give a tremendous boost to uh, farming community for commercially raising bamboo plantations. Mm -hmm. Bamboo for walls and roof spreads has always been used by the tribal people. But these were temporary constructions. Dr. Sudhakar is combining this traditional raw material with new building methods to make structures that would be long lasting. From bamboo bows covered with asbestos to the thatch style roof, many models evolved. The bamboo bow covers nearly every building in the school campus. Ultimately, the tortoise shell structure emerged as the ideal pattern, which could take the load of up to four inch thick concrete. The bare structure, which would mean columns and the roof, would be for about 40 to 60 rupees per SFT, whereas uh, a traditional RCC bare structure would, would cost anywhere upwards of 100 to 150 rupees per square foot. The going was not easy. Experimentation took a long time due to lack of funding. 
But with the help of friends and family, he managed to come thus far. One of the first versions of wall was a simple bamboo structure that was plastered on the outer side with concrete while the inside was left out. In the town of Kobaru, a complete bamboo house is being constructed. All the house components are made of bamboo, strengthened with concrete layering. For the walls, first bamboo mesh panels are covered with jute cloth and steel mesh. Bamboo poles are inserted to increase the strength. Then the panels are filled with burned rice husk and fastened together. Finally, they are mounted and then plastered. The end result looks just like a normal wall. Because of its high elastic, very good elastic properties, it can withstand the shock. Means it will have that uh, resilience to absorb the shock and to deform and again come back to its original position. Whereas the concrete buildings, they are brittle, and they immediately, when some heavy earthquake occurs, they have the more chances of damage. Where the kind of thing is not there in this. Uh, First clay foot, a regular RCC construction as estimated by the AP Housing Corporation comes to somewhere between 250 rupees to 270 rupees depending on the nature of the foundation and the elevation that you require. Whereas, we have estimated that using bamboo um, uh, skeletons for the roof support, uh, ferro cement roof and uh, bamboo mesh walls, we can do it for about 200 rupees or less than 200 rupees per square foot. Since this technology mostly requires rural craft skills, the communities can make a living not just by growing bamboo plantations, but also by making ready-to-use house components like bamboo boughs, columns and walls. Though this technology is yet to be accepted by the majority people, small successes are coming in. The Department of Science and Technology is sending an evaluation team to test the bamboo house. And the Union Ministry for Rural Development has sanctioned the construction of 25 houses with bamboo roof and brick walls in Naginenipurulu village near Hadrichalam in Kamam district. Meanwhile, Dr. Sudhakar continues in his quest to create the perfect model that is not only sustainable but also gives durable, low cost houses for the rural communities. The RCC technology is more than 100 years old. The processes are well understood, well practiced, the skills are well developed. The bamboo technology is just emerging. 